Hey, hello everyone. Hello, hello. Welcome. This is Kelly Weiler here at Girl Upcycled Studio. Welcome to the studio. This is just a little quick fresh paint episode. I thought I would come live and show you guys what we've been working on um, for the last week. Um, this is a beautiful, beautiful vintage piece um, that we picked up. Um, we've had this for a little bit, but we finally got around to painting it and getting it prepped. And I'm really, really excited with how it's turned out. And I thought I would share with all of you the colors that I'm using and as well as the transfer that I'm using. And then I'm going to also do a quick demo of the finished waxing. So come on in, hang out for a minute and say hello when you come in, please. If you are brand new, especially over here on YouTube, please say hello because I'm trying to get to know all my new friends here on YouTube. And if you're over on Facebook, say hello. You're probably some of my old friends over there. And I always love to see your names pop up and chit chat with you. Okay, so let's start with, um, First of all, the color that I use, it's beautiful. Um, this is Water Lily. It's one of the newer colors, and I'm gonna throw my glasses over here real quick, okay? Um, it's so pretty, you guys. It's like a just a beautiful periwinkle kind of a color. Hi, Mikhail. Hello, hello. Let me show you. So this is what it looks like. Um, the vanity, we have it sealed. Um, this is the DIY paint, of course. Um, again, the color is called Water Lily, and it's just stunning. It's stunning just as is. Like, you, you could even just use it just as is. But I'm going to go ahead and add some wax to it. Um, this is an all-natural clay-based paint. It is, Emma. Thank you. Yes, we were so lucky to get this. I have this whole set. I have a dresser that matches this and a bed. I'm not sure what we're going to do with the bed. Um, but let me kind of like show you guys real quick the top of it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Excuse my messy background. That's my, my workspace back there, and it's really kind of crazy. So water lilies, what we used, um, there were a couple of little places where some of the tannins and things were seeping through. So we just went and um, grabbed a little bit of our spray and just kind of clear coated it with shellac um, on a few places that um, had some little places seeping through. So that's just a little tip for those of you that don't know, you can do that. Um, and then we just painted right over it again. Um, other than that, um, then we put a clear coat over top of it. We did our clear coat with Big Top. It is an all-natural DIY paint, um, just hard coat. Um, and then just to let you know the color up here, which I love, is called Old School. And I had the first, the first idea was that I would put Old School on it and then put the old and gray patina over top of it but i actually just really like it with the old school so for right now i'm just going to leave it black it's not really black it's like a charcoal i'm going to leave it like that it's like a chalkboard color um and then if i want to change it i can later but i think i'm going to leave it so um then i applied this beautiful transfer i have more coming I have one left in stock. It's called Wallflower is the name of this. Um, I do have more coming. I have one in stock if you want to give it a try. And I have um, a ton of it left over. So let me show you what's left over. So I went ahead and rubbed these three areas. And then I have a huge piece left. So I'll be able to, I don't know, use that on something as well. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and start the waxing process. And I've got my clear wax. This, again, is DIY paint brand. And it's just an all-natural um, clear wax. And I, you guys, I already have clear coat on here, so you wouldn't necessarily have to do this. 
I'm just going to put it on just so I can control um, the black wax because I don't want it grabbing and I don't want it getting extremely dark on me, okay? So that's why I'm going to go ahead and throw on the clear, okay? And I'm going to go around all the edges. Anywhere there's a crease, I want to put that wax in. Anywhere there's a crease. And I'm going to go kind of like right over top of this design. And this is the black wax. I don't use the black wax a ton, but I thought it would just be gorgeous on this. So we will find out if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> when all in any of the crevices, there's a lot of details in this that you're not seeing, but once I get the wax on there, you'll probably see it a little bit better. I wanna get it inside all of the little grooves around the legs. And if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to ask, ask away. Even if you're catching this on a replay. I haven't been on all week, guys. <laughs> we've just been, we've been really busy. I've had my daughter in here helping me, which has been wonderful. Um, she actually painted the um, water lily color on here for me. She did a fabulous job. I'm going to go ahead, wherever there's a handle, I'm going to make sure that I get it real good where the opening is. Okay. And now you're going to take a lint-free rag, okay? You want to make sure it's lint-free. Um, hello, Sue. How are you? This is called Wallflower. And I have one left on my website. If anybody wants it, first come, first serve. Um, I do have more coming. Can't tell you when it will be here because, you know, pandemic thing going on. But um, do the best we can. And then we're just going to take this lint-free rag and we're going to start wiping it off, okay? I did not apply it all the way on everything, okay? I just applied it around the edges. Oh, so pretty, right? So you can see how it just toned it down just a little bit. Toned it down. I mean, I love it bright as well, but there's something about that aged look and it just kind of gives it a really beautiful adult kind of a vibe feel, right? I'm going to go around the legs. And you're just going to kind of pull off what you can. And this is where you can kind of play around with it. Um, I kind of like it. I like the darkness and all the creases. So I'm going to maybe even add a little tinge more. Um, and I, what do I do with my brush? There it is. I'm going to add a little tinge more into these little grooves, all the little grooves. There we go. I have Ginger in the house with me today, too. She just gave me a big sigh. She's like, okay, I'm ready to, I'm ready to go, Mama. Hi, Christine. Hello, Suzanne. How are you? And Judith is in the house. Love black wax with water lily. This is the first time I've used black wax with water lily. Love it. Uh, Sue, get online and 
purchase that because I'm not sure. Like I said, first the first one to purchase gets it. Um, if it's sold out, Sue, I don't know. Um, somebody may have already bought it. If it is sold out, I do have more ordered, okay? Yes. I have used black wax with um, gypsy green. It's just beautiful, too. Yes. Christine, this is water lily. So I think you're getting a good, like, a good look with how that toned. It even toned down the transfer a little bit. So I'm loving it. So I'm going to go on to the next section. Gorgeous. Thank you, Suzanne. I'm going to pull this a little bit closer. Give you a little closer look. Yeah, I love, um, I love a good periwinkle. And man, is this beautiful. And I have to give a shout out to my daughter because she's actually the one that chose this. I was kind of going more towards a, um, like I was going to use petticoat pink with, uh, and then I was going to glaze it. And she was like, oh, no, no, we should do. And she chose this. And I was like, okay, that sounds like, I said, I actually don't have a lot with this color in the studio so I was like that's a good call and oh my gosh good I'm so glad we went that route so so nice to have another set of eyes on things and <laughs> given ideas you know because it does get a little daunting at times trying to think of everything you want to do um yes the color is amazing I know. What have you used? Have you all used this color before? So again, here I am. I'm going to go in all these grooves. I want it pretty pressed in to the corners. And then I'm going to go everywhere there's a hole. I'm going to just smush it in there. Okay. And you know what? I forgot to put the clear on, but I think we'll be okay um, because I have clear um, sealer on it. So it may go a little bit darker. We'll see. And you can always use your clear as an eraser and it'll pull some off, okay? So if you didn't know that, and you get, you get it to where it's called grabbing, it grabs and it goes too dark on you. You just throw that clear back on it and it just erases it, kind of pulls it back up. And then you get in there and you rework it and you can kind of control the color a little bit and uh, correct it. So there's, you know, quite a few different ways of waxing. So there's the difference. There's the before, it's beautiful that way too, bright. And then here's the after with the kind of a smoky, soft layer that just kind of gets that little layer, it just boom, tones it, tones it all down. Um, any questions? Um, did you put big top on everything? Yes, I did. I put big top all over it, uh, including the top of this, which is old school. Love that color, by the way. Um, completely covered it. So with big top, uh, you don't necessarily have to do that. Um, it's just a harder coat is what it is. And I knew I was putting this transfer on and I just wanted to make sure the transfer was going to be sealed on there and and then I was just kind of thinking I almost just put sealer over the transfer and then I was going to wax the rest but you know what sometimes it's just a lot of work 
can I just be honest, sometimes it's a lot of work, all the waxing. And so sometimes it's just easier to put the top coat on and then throw your like colored wax on there. And it moves really easy. Somebody says, I see the doggy's foot. Jen Jen, Jenny, hi girl. You wanna come say hi? Come here, come. Come say hi. This is Ginger, oops. Now she's out of the picture. She's stretched. She's doing the downward dog. Stretch right here, girl. Hey, girly. Yeah, she's she's been good today. You can't see her now, though. There she is. She's like, what do you want? Are you going to give me a treat or something? <laughs> but anyway, so truth be known, um, yeah, sometimes I'm, sometimes I'm just frankly not in the mood to do all of the hardcore waxing so that is my way to cheat when i wax is i put the top coat on first and it's a hard seal oh, she's got her what you got girl you got your you, you got your bone <laughs> she's so funny she loves her bone but anyway that's my way of cheating hi ginger she's everybody knows her and she doesn't even know it all right so i'm going to continue along I know. Let me just go backwards. I just knocked you all over. That way you can see Ginger, and because she's the star of the show. Anyway, so um, those of you wanting a way to cheat while you wax, that's a way to cheat. And you kind of are probably wondering, like, how how is that cheating? Because you still have to apply the wax. Because the wax, when you have your hard coat on there because the paint is so porous and dry because it's clay and it sucks up all that um, hard coat um, it does the same with the wax and you really like sometimes you have to really you know cover it real good it's just I don't know I just think it's easier sometimes I know she looks so cute up on that couch doesn't she that's her couch, by the way. And she thinks anybody that comes here is here to see her. Because you are, right? You are here to see her. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. You guys, if you've not tried this color, I highly recommend it. I think I just scraped it. Looks like it didn't pull any paint off. I just got my nail in there. And then again, like I said, if you want to pull more off, just add that clear to it. And then it'll pull a little more off. Very, very easy to use though. It's easy to use either way, whether you just use the wax or whether you use the top coat too. Um, I do have one, two, three, four, I have five tubs of big top left. Um, let me see. I have plenty of this color in stock. So if y'all want to get the um, water lily, I have plenty in stock. I have all sizes. I have the samples. The sample sizes are eight ounce sizes, which are perfect for artists and crafters that do small um, projects. Okay. So I have plenty of that. I have um, pints and quarts. This is the quart size. Um, so, and then I have one of the transfers left. Maybe Sue may have gotten it, the wallflower. I have one left. I have more coming. Um, and then I have, I do have old school um, that you can purchase on the website. So if you're wondering it, you can find everything at girlupcyclestudio.com. And find all the products. So right now I just stuck my brush, my clear, into right over top of the edge that I put in just to soften it. And then I'm just going to kind of blend it out. So it's a lot like when you blend your paint, but it's just the wax. So you're just using, you know, that, um, clear 
as a blending medium, so to speak, or a correction medium, eraser type deal. So pretty. Are there any questions? I'm going to give you guys just a few seconds to um, ask any other questions. And if you have any questions about any other products that you've seen me use, by all means, jump in and ask. And I'm going to hit this really quick while y'all are still here watching. And we'll get this last one. Um, and then I'll, I might finish some of it tomorrow, the top part. So again, I'm going to go with the black wax. I'm going to go all in those creases and edges. And really push it in. All of the little detail from the frame. I want the whole thing covered. And then everywhere where there's an opening, where your handle is going to be, I'm going to put a lock there. Okay. And then I'm going to just start blending it all out. I'm going to change my rag. I'm going to twist, turn my rag to where there's a clean spot. You want to always do that. It just really makes all of the detailing pop, okay? Um, Christine is asking what the hardware looks like. Um, I think I'm gonna have to go get it. It's across the room, so I'll go get it here in a second. Let me get this finished. I'm gonna grab my clear, and I'm just gonna put my clear in there so that I can blend it a little bit better. Um, if you if you have any hesitation about this at all, just jump in and try. Um, a lot of times, your local restore has um, like little little cupboard um, like doors from old cupboards that they have on hand, and those are perfect. I'm gonna pull you closer. Those are perfect for practicing with, and that's what I advise all my customers to do. Hello, Ashley. How are you? So, um, and I think they're only like, I don't know, three bucks, you know, for, for the, um, for the doors. So this just really, it just gives it that kind of weathered kind of aged look. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a close-up of this, too, okay? While I go get the, the knobs and stuff for it. I kind of look like a hobo today, you guys, by the way. I'll let you guys look at it for a second while I go get my knobs, my handles. So I can show you. These are just um, these are just the knobs that came with it. Uh, so, oh, I've got a low battery. Hold on, it's supposed to be plugged in. So these are just real common. This came with it. Um, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'll give you a little, a little 
show here what it'll look like real quick. So that's what it's gonna look like on. If you can see that, give or take. And I think it'll be really cute. Um, a lot of times I use glass knobs. So if I get if I get this on here and I decide I don't like it, then maybe I'll put the glass knobs on it. What do you think? Do you think the glass knobs would be better? Or do you like the original? I think either one will work, really. I think it's just a personal preference, possibly. So, um, but I would love to hear your comments and what you think you would like to use. Let me come a little bit closer. Suzanne says she loves the knobs. So you can kind of see the smoky effect that that black wax gave. And you think when you use black wax, it's kind of scary at first because um, it's really, really dark. Um, and if you're not used to it, it, it can kind of take over. But I love it. So if you look at the top, there's a good difference with what the paint looked like without the black wax. So this hasn't been waxed yet. Really, really bright, isn't it? Still pretty, but boom, there's that black wax. It just gives it a really, really soft kind of a romantic kind of a feel, I think. Um, Suzanne, Suzanne says she likes the original ones either, but the original are gorgeous. Yeah, I'll give you a close up of the... So that's the original. And that's a really good close up of the details too, how the black wax really lets the details pop. So, hi Joe, how you doing? All right, so that's really it. it. Wasn't a really long demo or anything today. Hi Judith. Judith says she loves the original hardware. So not a really long video, but I wanted to get on here and share with you. I've been working really hard this week and have not been on here much, so I apologize. I've not forgotten you guys. But um, I hope you enjoyed this, and I will add the links to all of these products on my YouTube description um, on the YouTube channel at Grow Up Cycle Studio. So if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, you want to make sure you do that and hit that little uh, bell and it'll let you know whenever there's a new video up because I do have a ton of demos and a ton of just cute projects, um, informational projects, fun projects and all that stuff. So hopefully you can find something that helps you and if you do try anything out, share it with us so we can see how yours turned out, okay? All right. Thanks so much, you guys. Have a great week. I'll try to come back on in a day or two with another project, okay? See you later.